in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed your holy, your holy, your holy, be lifted high, be lifted high. Romans 15 19 let's read together if we can see it projected as loud as you can ready read in mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem and round about Illyricum I have fully preached the gospel of Christ he says in mighty signs and wonders and even by the power of the holy spirit so that from jerusalem and round about Illyricum, i have fully preached the gospel that means the gospel is not fully preached until there is the dimension of it that captures signs and wonders he says that the gospel is not only a message there is a component to the gospel that completes it to be called the full gospel that if the gospel is only a proposition of words it is not complete in signs and wonders by the power of the spirit of god so that from jerusalem and round about to Illyricum i have fully preached to fully preach means to declare the truth of god's word and back it up with the power that performs that means the communication of faith that just stops as an intelligent exegesis of scripture without the power of god to prove the things that have been proposed is not the full gospel are we together the gospel that is complete is the gospel that proposes the truth as written in scripture and then gives the Holy Spirit an opportunity to bring life and power to that which was proposed I believe in the power of God I believe in miracles signs and wonders as tokens and testaments of the truthfulness of what we propose as written in scripture i believe in the god that acts not just the god that speaks god does not speak alone he acts and listen the gospel that we preach is one that must allow us to both hear and see the gospel that is limited to hearing alone is not the full gospel if it is the gospel that is backed up with the power of god you will both hear and you will see acts chapter 8 from verse 5 we're going to begin to pray now 
then philip went down to the city of samaria the bible says and preached christ unto them the bible says when he went to samaria he started by preaching christ unto them verse 6 the bible says the multitudes let's read it together verse 6 ready one to read and the multitudes with one accord heeded the things spoken by philip uh-huh hearing and seeing one more time hearing and one more time hearing and they didn't just hear what he was saying they had an opportunity to see a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did that means when it comes to miracles you don't just say people should not just hear there must be a performance hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles seven the bible says for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were demonized or possessed and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed as a result there was great joy in that city when the gospel is fully preached the end of it is that there must be joy not just to individuals not just to families but even to the whole city philip went down to samaria and if all he did was just to declare the truth of scripture they would live with lots of doubts and fears but the bible says the people gave attention hearing and seeing i believe in the god whose power can be demonstrated i believe in the truth of scripture now whilst the fundamental basis of our pursuit of god is not miracle signs and wonders we love him and we seek him because of who he is however like i would always point out miracle signs and wonders are consolations to our christian experience they help and remind us that the god that we serve is a living god are we together yes the god that we serve is not dead the god that we serve is alive but how can we prove that he's alive except by the multifaceted the manifold communication of the wisdom of god revealed the bible says that all these things a display of the wisdom and the power of god all together they walk ephesians chapter 3 and verse 10 to the intent that now unto principalities and powers might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of god we need to see and know the manifold wisdom of god this morning you have left your jobs some of you have shut down your shops you've shut down your businesses some of you took excuses off work i was so humbled when um they were bringing me in and i saw people outside several people and i said this is a representation of hunger it will be evil and unfair for you to go back the way you came and i tell you until we bring a display of the power of god with testimonies and provable results like never seen we have no right to tell people to stop going to shrines we have no right to tell people to stop consulting with dark powers all those who stopped them in the bible brought an alternative that was superior and provable we cannot tell people stop visiting herbalists stop visiting native doctors and then they stop that and come and we give them nothing this bible was a demonstration of the power of light over darkness can i tell you sincerely my dear people do not forbear with pain god still brings an end to captivity 
do not allow the limitations around your life don't build a theology around your limitation to mean god cannot no 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 this morning i have come very briefly to roll away that stone it is possible for lazarus to still come out even though he had been there three days he said roll away the stone water you turn into one open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you none like you into the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise there's no one like you none like you our god is greater our god is stronger lord you are higher than any other our god is healer awesome in power our god listen think with me for a moment ladies and gentlemen how beautiful it will be for someone to mock you while you are on your way to church and you return back home with a provable testimony you are going to that your church again and then you return back and say these are some of the benefits of serving the lord he said bless the lord oh my soul and in blessing him forget not there are benefits to serving him are we together now watch me when a visitor comes to your house he doesn't come to your house to eat he may come to your house for an important meeting however there are benefits he most likely would come and meet a table prepared is that true especially if he comes to spend time you are deliberating on something political or whatever it is but somewhere there we call it item seven item people come for weddings they don't necessarily come to eat even burials people you are thoughtful that although people are crying you still will leave a provision to cater for their welfare if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children the bible says how much more shall your heavenly father in god's mind the proof of fatherhood is not having children the proof of fatherhood is the ease to give that means the moment your hand withholds you are not abba you are not a giver so every time we are gathered before our father he longs to demonstrate his fatherhood can i tell you this miracles and signs and wonders listen carefully before we begin to pray every time you receive a supernatural touch from god a testimony whether over your health your finances or any aspect of your life i will tell you we must learn to discern the supernatural every miracle you receive even that which you will receive now in it is a letter from god to you you must understand what he writes on miracles there are two things that is written on this letter that you call a miracle number one i love you every time you experience the miraculous power of god contained in that miracle is a letter from heaven to you attesting to the fact that god is love when he heals he reveals through healing that he is love when he restores he reveals through restoration that he is love when he lifts when he anoints no matter what the supernatural manifestation is the first message that comes with every performance of god in the life of an individual more so a believer is i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness message number two every time god reveals his power in the midst of his people he is reminding you that he is god because you see your challenges have a way of magnifying themselves and because of the longevity of their presence they can demean and downplay the power of god so he reminds you by that spectacular manifestation of his power that in spite of all that the devil has done 
I still remain as God. These are two messages you must discern every time you see the miraculous. Listen to me. If you receive miracles without receiving the letter that comes with them, it does not bless you. The letter that comes with the miracle is as important as the miracle. So when God lifts, when God saves, when God blesses, when God transforms, when God heals, when God opens doors, in all of this, he's telling you that number one, Gombe State, and whatever family and whatever individual, I love you. And then number two, he reminds you that I am God. Sometimes we can forget that he is God. Almighty, El Shaddai, the multi-breasted one. The train of his robe fills the temple. That's what Isaiah saw. And the cloud of heavenly worshippers surrounding your throne. We join with them now, crying, Holy, Holy is the Lamb, the Lamb of God. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, exalted high above the worship. Of the people of the earth, I see the Lord. I see the Lord. For my eyes have seen the King. It's the Lamb upon the throne who reigns forever. I have seen the power of God in my life as I travel from region to region you would think that after many years of seeing the power of God you will get used to it the power of God is like breathing you've been breathing from the day you were born and yet you never get used to it it is new it is spectacular with every scene I have seen God lift people I have seen God turn lives around but I still stand amazed at what the power of God can do I assure you by the God of heaven that this God we serve is powerful that's why I sang the song that I sang yesterday that I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Baba Wani Kamaraka I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Baba Wani Listen, have you seen the way God lifts? Ask Esther Have you seen the way God heals? Ask the man who was born blind and the one who had been 38 years. Have you seen the way God restores? Ask Job in the Bible. Have you seen the way God prospers? Ask Abraham. Have you seen the way God is able to wipe the tears of people? Ask Elizabeth. Ask Hannah. Have you seen the way God is able to restore joy to a family? Ask the widow at name. All the men in her life went and the last one was about to go. But when she met him, he said, no, not so. Let's return back and brought life. This is the God that we're talking about. Listen, you may be seated here saying, Apostle, you don't know the kind of family I'm coming from. Listen, I present to you this one who is fearfully mighty. When he arises from his throne on your behalf, woe betides the force that stands in between you and his love. We are going to pray. 
I will be praying over your requests and I will be speaking over your life. Lend me a minute or two and let me teach you a formula for receiving from the anointing and from receiving from God. The Bible mandates according to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says that everybody who comes to God must number one, come believing that he is, he exists. He exists. You can come to God doubting and hoping. Is he real? He says that you must believe that he exists. And then number two, you must believe that he's a rewarder. It's not just what he does. It is his name. He's a rewarder. He is that benevolent that he will never call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. If he calls you, then he's ready to reward. I'm seeing a smoke of his presence here and listen, the Lord is telling me, we're going to pray shortly, that there is a grace for speed. Listen, and when I begin to pray and I release that word, please ushers, help those under the anointing because people will start running. You will be amazed. They are not doing it on their own. And I want you to bring them out. It's a grace. God can shift a man from where you are. He can take 10 years and put it in one year. And the Lord has spoken to me that he's releasing the grace for speed. I stretch my hands, may that grace right now. I'm seeing the number 35. Upon 35 people, that anointing and that grace is coming. Let that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Speed, bring them out. By the Spirit of the living God. Please bring them out. Such an anointing for speed. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to your life. Speed in life and destiny. Speed in ministry. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. While you bring them out, let me teach you something before I wrap up what I'm saying. You see, the, the zenith of dominion in this kingdom is dominion over time. Dominion over things is wonderful. But when you have dominion over time, my God, I'm seeing this anointing fall. I'm seeing the number 35 on 35 people. That means embargoes of delay. There are many of you, nothing is growing in your life except your age. The only thing growing and increasing in your life is your age. But this mantle is resting upon you now. Wherever you are, whether you are inside or outside, receive that grace right now. Even by the Spirit of God speed coming upon you in ministry in destiny now pay attention the bible says everyone who must come to god must come believing that number one he exists and number two he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him receiving a miracle from god listen carefully it mandates that there are two principal conditions that must be met number one you must believe in the god of heaven as father abba the source the sustainer and the giver of every good things number two you must believe in the vessel who becomes the expression of his power that when you believe in the lord your god you shall be established but that you believe in his servants, his prophets, and you prosper. You can believe in God and not believe in the vessel he's using. You will not receive anything. You need to believe in the God of heaven who is the giver of all things. And then you must believe in his prophets. I believe that God sent me here to this city and even this morning at this miracle service because someone's life is about to change in the name of jesus christ lift your hands in one minute 
and ask the Lord to touch you in a way that will bring glory to his name some of you over your health some of you over your finances go ahead and pray in one minute I want to begin to minister to you now mighty God Holy, holy, go ahead and pray. Are you Lord God Almighty? Where is the man? You are holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I raised this song, I just saw like light just going towards the minister session. I just saw like light. And I don't know who, but there is there is I'm seeing at least three men of God. The Lord is saying, I saw this same thing when I was ministering in Joss. Ministering in Joss. That a season is coming to an end and another season is beginning this is what I saw I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I release you by the power of God step into that new season help them please step into that new season even by the Spirit of the Living God step into that new season in the name of Jesus Christ now the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions please hear me i want to rebuke every spirit that is standing the way of your blessing at the count of three inside and outside i want you to shout the name jesus and at the shout of that name every spirit that is not of the christ must give way are you ready now one two Three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every devil of darkness, give way now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring deliverance to families. I bring deliverance to destinies. Be set free now. Every planting that is not by God, it gives way by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I command every spirit and every yoke give way now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out goodness my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i'm still praying the lord is showing me the lord is showing me families here where it looks like only one or two people get to rise out of those families and just when they're about to settle they just crash down i'm praying right now i don't know who is a victim of this right now i stretch my hands may that fire from heaven rest upon you right now i break that chain right now help them please i break that chain right now i break that chain right now limitations over families be broken in the name of jesus limitations be broken in the name of jesus Hallelujah. 
who is by the name Rachel I'm hearing the name Rachel I want to pray for the sick shortly but just to minister to one or two people I'm hearing a name Rachel the Lord wants to visit that family in a very mighty way who is Rachel please make sure you verify don't just come out carelessly Rachel Madam, point this woman wearing green. That woman, what is your name? Come, you are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you, but please help, somebody help me verify. I don't know who that Mama. Okay. What is her name? What is your name, madam? Okay. I want to pray for you. Yes. What's your name, ma? Rachel. Your name is Rachel. The Lord wants to bring salvation to your family. You believe that? I, I will pray for you. Mama, please look at me. God wants to take something out of your body. Huh? Is that true? There is something God wants to remove from your body. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't remove the... I didn't even know she was wearing... In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Salvation comes to your household by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact for every other person standing in as Rachel. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Is there somebody called Yakubu? I'm hearing a name, Yakubu. Yakubu. Please, if it's not your name, don't come out so that we save time. It's a brief session, the miracle service. Yakubu. Is there someone like that? You are wearing like a monkey jacket or something like that. Yakubu. What's your name? Yakubu. From where? From Kaduna. The Lord is showing me someone. Please don't be offended. I'm not trying to get you emotional. Your loved one right now as I'm talking is part of some people that they kidnapped. Who is that? Like, I think they were on the road or so and they kidnapped them. There's somebody like that we need to pray is there is there someone like that the lord is just revealing this to me not not within gombe here but you have a loved one is part of those they are trusting god for right now to even raise some money to be able to set them free we want to pray so that god will preserve them my friend what do you do i'm a teacher you're a teacher i want to pray for you what did you study mathematics huh mathematics In the name of Jesus, I'm not seeing you stand long doing teaching at all. I'm seeing God lift you. In fact, not even in this city. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may the Lord honor you. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Honor you and bring miracles to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. Please, all the prayer requests, you can collate them and just bring them to the front now. All of you who are trusting God for healing, wherever you are, inside or outside, I believe in miracles. Lay your hands. Make contact with any part of your body. I want to pray for you. You don't have to come out. Just where you are, lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Huh? Along the road to um, Benue. They kidnapped them. They kidnapped him. Who is that? Brother. Your brother? Yes. How long? Um, it's last year. Uh, last year. 
Is he still there? No, he spent about two, getting to three months. Is he back now? That's what yes. I'm saying. No, no, no. The one I'm talking about is still there. May God preserve your family in Jesus' name. But when you find somebody, I'm somebody, a loved one, I'm just walking based on what God has revealed to me. Hallelujah. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you right now. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And I want you to believe in the power of this prayer. The Lord is going to bring you healing right now. I hear the chains falling I hear the chains In the name of Jesus Christ Shout a loud Amen Gombe In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ right now i decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity here by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare right now i command that spirit let god's people go now out of their lives out of their bodies now out of their lives out of their bodies now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ I declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headache be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every blind eyes be open now in jesus name deaf ears be open now in jesus name everyone having any bone condition in the name of jesus whether you're on crutches you're in a wheelchair bone conditions be healed in the name of jesus every problem with your spine I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed in Jesus name every growth in your body I command that growth to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now cancers and tumors be healed now recurrent migraine headache it comes and goes it comes and goes be healed now urinary problems i'm seeing somebody you have a problem frequent urination in the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. There's someone, you are not blind, but you are beginning to have a problem with your eyes. You see like scales on your eyes. It's as if you are seeing a vision, but it's physical. You are seeing lines and like scales. In the name of Jesus, I declare be healed now. There's someone, I don't know, it's like you have something on your toe. It's like a fungal infection, but it has refused to heal. In the name of Jesus, I am praying for you right now. Let the power of God touch you right where you are. Make sure you are receiving. I'm going to ask you to check yourself shortly. And then we'll have a few testimonies here before we pray over the requests. There's someone you have is like pile but this is a very severe in fact is is an issue that most likely may require surgery because with what i'm seeing um is is quite an advanced stage of pile right now the power of god is touching you heart palpitations 
you have a problem breathing sometimes it's as if you are gasping for breath i declare in the name of jesus be healed now is it i don't know if it's a boil or a swelling inside or around your armpit the power of god is touching you right now supernatural healing for you in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me someone just your left the left side of the, your left leg just right here i'm seeing that it's like your kneecap there's something wrong with it you are not able to walk well the moment i ask you to start doing what you could not do take a step of faith you will find out that the healing power of god has touched you in the name of jesus christ there is someone you are beginning to have a severe case of partial stroke if you came here on crutches or probably a wheelchair i want you to take a step of faith lift it up and try walking whatever it is don't force them sir walk lift it where's his crutch turn back and walk lift it up every other person with a crutch lift it up and walk whether i stick any walking aid lift it up and walk in the name of jesus christ are you celebrating miracles lift it up and walk don't force them please don't force anyone once there's no strength just allow them but in the name of jesus i declare there's someone your left eye you could not see well right now you will see that a miracle has happened now begin to check yourself do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do you couldn't move parts of your body move it right now move it right now move it right now move it right now now here's what i want you to do for me please listen listen everyone check yourself there are miracles happening inside and outside this is what i want you to do for me the moment you find out that you have received a miracle something you could not do the power of god has touched you I want you to come out just come and stand here at my left where Laura is and then some of you you may want to stand just where the stage is there there will be pastors to check you and will take the testimonies those outside inside right now I want you to check yourself the moment you find out that the healing power of God has touched you something that you couldn't do you couldn't see now you can see you couldn't hear you couldn't smell whatever miracles celebrate them as they go move either to my left or right please whether they are coming from outside once they have been healed or just clear the way for them let's celebrate miracles god is touching people here creator of the universe what can you do what can you do keep coming jesus Creator of saying What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus You are able Grand and mighty You are able Jesus What? It's like there's a miracle at the back there you are able great and mighty God. you are able jesus check yourself my god are you celebrating what god is doing you couldn't bend try to bend now you couldn't lift your leg celebrate what jesus is doing we'll take a few testimonies whether by my left or right outside anywhere ushers pastors just help us coordinate these people and let's celebrate what god is doing in our midst there's someone your 
I'm literally feeling that pain on my right ear it's like you don't hear well or so or you don't hear at all with your right ear in the name of Jesus I'm declaring may that ear open right now may that ear open right now may that ear open right now hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin